This video is just doing a quick tour on the 79 Ford Thunderbird that I will be parting out over the next few weeks. I don't like parting these out, but this is why you make friends with Derby guys, because then you get parts, and whenever you don't want, you can sell on the internet. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, we can see this car was uh, several different colors over the course of its life. I believe it started out being white with the maroon top and then red interior. And then somebody had wrecked it, I'm guessing, and then had a baby blue car and then painted it black. So I'm not really f fully for sure what's going on there, but it do doesn't matter. Um, it had a 351 Windsor with, I believe, a C4 transmission in it. I'll be grabbing the brake booster off of this thing. These things, you, you can get them rebuilt, but you know it's easier just to get one that's not ruined. Venture onto the inside here. So the first thing we notice is that some dingbat decided that they were going to spray paint the door jams. And if you want to spray paint the door jams, that's fine. But you don't paint the latch. And you should tape off the door panel. It's very unfortunate. <laughs> let's see, let's move on to this side. Paint it right over the decal sticker. It's still there, you can see it. But just why? Didn't tape anything off. Runs everywhere. It is absolute junk. You're gonna paint something, at least try. But moving aside, you can see we have one style of door panel and then the other style of door panel. And here we got a cluster, hopefully that's good. We have a non-tilt column as when I push this bar forward it doesn't move. And then I got a battery up to it so we'll test the wipers. We have low and high. And the intermittent seems to just not work. So if I turn it to off. They won't go back to their rest position until I put them to low or high and then turn them off. So the wiper switch isn't good anymore. Um, we have somebody cut out this to fit this radio. And we got a front and back adjustment daub, which is kind of funny because every modern radio has that built in, but whatever. Nothing fancy in there. Dash is basically ruined. Manual seats. See we have lots of garbage in the back seat here. Have a rip. That almost looks like a burn mark. Maybe not. Oh, that's the hood hinge. Okay, well. Don't know where the other one is. Well, okay, why? Now I gotta Brit whatever. Okay, tail lights are gone. Uh, I'm gonna have to take out the rear seat back and unbolt the striker, as I don't like to destroy stuff for no reason. So that way I can get it open and get it to unlatch from the striker without breaking anything. These rear bumper mounts are still in good shape, so I'm going to claim those. I'll remove the fuel tank. Now these fuel tanks you can buy, I don't care about it. The sending units you can buy too, but we'll see if it's good. And then I like to keep the little EVAP plug from up top of these things, because sometimes they go rotten and go bad. I like to keep those on hand as well. You can see this particular trim piece is fine, this is just ruined. Like I said, I would love to know the story on this thing. Go to the passenger side, some more junk. Some more spray paint all over the seal on the panel. Now the paint on the panel might not be a big deal. I'm not 100% sure on that. I wouldn't even know where to begin to remove that and not ruin the panel. Once again, in the door latch. Just, I don't get it. I guess I stand corrected. They did tape something.
I guess he never got to finish on this side. Missing the speaker cover, rip that and cut it out. So that door panel is probably just junk now. So don't circle back around. Let's get the headlights. So of course the tail lights are all missing course but we do have front running lights the headlights they might just be burned out I'm not really sure the wiring seems to be intact enough to not cause issues the left blinker works and the right blinker works so I will have to plug this headlight switch into my other Thunderbird to test the vacuum part because if the vacuums run it's basically useless Oh, that's interesting. Like I said, I'm not really sure what's going on with this poor car. How's the other side? Hmm. Might be good for some go-kart seats. And that's about it.